and this video will discuss a couple different ways of using Google Forms in the classroom. Nevertheless, we'll begin with formative assessments. Now you can use Google Forms to give students an exit ticket at the end of a lesson. If you're up to it, you can even create a summative assessment through Google Forms. You have options to create eight different types of questions ranging from drop-down menu to long paragraph. All results are collected electronically, which is easily stored, and most importantly, nearly impossible to lose. The second function of Google Forms in the classroom, surveys. You can survey parents, teachers, students, all sorts of different questions. Send parents a survey about any concerns on your syllabus. You can send other teachers a survey about what they would like the next PLC meeting to focus on, or send students a survey about where they would like to have their next field trip. Third, collect data. You can use Google Forms to collect information. You can send out a form to fill out for, let's say, anyone interested in joining Heights Football with Coach Gabe and Coach Lorenzo. You'll have all the students' names documented on a list, and they'll get to be part of an excellent football program with great coaches through all levels. And lastly, you can use Google Forms to create a flipped classroom. In a flipped classroom, students receive direct instruction at home and use class time to work out problems. With forms, you can easily insert an instructional video to a Google Form, then assign that form as homework, and they'll watch the video on the form at home, and when they come to class, they'll be ready to work on problems and answer and ask questions. Personally, that's, that's, the, 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 biggest, uh, that's the best thing for me when it comes to using Google Forms. But right now, I'd like to say thank you for your time, and please watch the next video in the series, Ways to Create Google Forms.